Yep, thank you. Uh, hi, Rod. Uh, now, last week was quite historic for Namibian cricket and it must be great to be in the Super 12s. Uh, could you touch upon some of the challenges that you've cut through as a side over the past few years and how do they hold you in good stead with what's to come in the next few weeks? Yeah, I think um, if I can go back as far as, say, three years ago, we were in quite a tough place as a, as a cricketing nation. Um, not only financially were we, you know, we not where we wanted to be, uh, but as a team, we weren't really performing. And uh, I think at uh, tournaments like our qualifying tournaments, we tend to um, just fall away at the end. Um, and, you know, we really uh, we really had to turn it around. And um, it's been, a, a you know, a, an effort to, to do that. It's been, um, there's had to be some great role players within Cricket Namibia, um, from the coaching staff to the board members to the administration itself um, that have all had to buy into one vision and go somewhere. And um, yeah, now we sort of, are, I guess, at the peak and, uh, you know, reaping those rewards, which is great. Um, and hopefully we can continue going upwards. And finally, uh, you played Scotland twice in the lead up to the T20 World Cup. Now, what did you learn from those games in terms of matchups and how crucial would it be to start off with a win tomorrow? Yeah, we, we play Scotland quite a lot, to be honest. Um, so, I think all, all of the players know each other and um, the matchups are, de- are there. You know, uh, all of, I don't think there'll be any surprises from any side, but um, uh, it's about who can execute the best on the day. Uh, I think we, we're carrying in some nice momentum into this clash tomorrow night. Um, we've played well, I think, on the Abu Dhabi Stadium as well. Um, and yeah, I think if we if we can rock up with that energy and that positive momentum going into that clash, I, I believe we can get the better of them. Uh, thank you and all the best for tomorrow. Thank you. Hey, Manshu. Hey, um, so uh, you just mentioned that uh, you know, you'll be going into the Scotland game with some momentum. But uh, how do you look back at uh, Scotland's performance against Afghanistan where they were bowled out for 60? Yeah, we all know cricket's quite a rough game and uh, you can have days like that where uh, another side's really on song and uh, you find the going hard. So we won't particularly be just looking at their performance. We'll firstly focus on ourselves. Um, uh, but, you know, cricket and especially T20 cricket um, has a has a t- typical momentum and a kind of energy behind it that, um, you know, other formats perhaps don't. So we'll be looking to use our momentum, our positive energy from the previous game uh, and throw that into the Scotland clash and um, yeah, hopefully on the day that can be too much for them. Um, but we know their quality side and they're going to try and turn around the uh, previous performance. They'll be hungry to do that and uh, uh, we need to be ready for that. Thank you. Um, just a question from me. Um, can you give us a bit of a flavour of what it's like back in Namibia? Um, support for you guys and um, excitement ahead of the rest of the tournament. Yeah, obviously a very, very proud moment for us. We have a, a very proud fan, fan base, a very close one. Uh, I think uh, all of our supporters around are you know, personally familiar with the squad members. And um, yeah, it's been quite, a, quite tough times during COVID over the last two years. And um, if I can say, like, uh, economy-wise, it's been quite tough in Namibia. Um, and, you know, everyone's quite excited when um, your athletes do well and sport has that power to change the mood in the in the country, I, I think. And uh, this, along with probably the our Olympians doing well over the last couple of months, is great sporting achievement too, which has really, you know, uplifted the spirits of, um, of the nation back home. And we're a very proud team to have done that. Um, and you've been around in the team for a few years now. Um, how does this rate in terms of your cricket experiences throughout your career and um, maybe give us a bit of an idea of what it's like to be a, a World Cup for an associate member? Yeah, obviously as a captain of the team, it has to be right up there um, since it is our biggest achievement under my leadership. Um, and as a player as well, I'm very excited you know, to rub shoulders with the best in the world. Um, so associate cricket is, is um, quite a dog fight at times. And um, if you get through stages like this and you get to reap these rewards, then um, most definitely you enjoy all of those fruits. Uh, over the next week, we're going to have to, um, you know, 
up our level and uh, get into this challenge with all of our energy. Um, but we're ready to do that, and I think um, if we can, if we can, if we can, you know, start off well tomorrow against the Scottish side, that'll give us more and more momentum to carry with, and uh, yeah, hopefully have a good one throughout the tournament. Is there any further questions on Zoom? Hemanshi? Uh, hi. Uh, so, uh, despite uh, batting being your strength, uh, do you feel the side is over dependent on David Pisa considering the experience that he brings and also the fact that uh, he's already finished off a few games for you in this tournament? Yeah, you rightly say that uh, David has had an excellent tournament for us. Um, I, I, I don't think we've quite fired as a team as a well, whole, so that's great. Um, to know that there's some potential sitting in the dugout still that has to come right sometime in the tournament. Um, we'll be looking to tap into the resources of each and every individual in the team and not only um, a few of the guys. Uh, there's lots of guys that still, you know, need to prove themselves or want to prove themselves, want to score some runs, get some wickets. Um, and um, I believe they can do it. We have full confidence in every guy we select on the day. Um, these guys have been playing quality cricket for you know two years against good opposition um, back home in South Africa in different conditions. So there's definitely a performance or two around the corner from some of the other guys. And I, I'm going to be very excited as a captain to see who, who it is next.